have an actual litter, for example, not every puppy is developed to do the right, the same thing. So it's about picking that dog, young dog, or even when I go in Europe and test dogs, or even here when I'm developing, what dog is good for what? So for example, a service dog, I want a dog that is, that is super calm, but attentive, that wants to do the task and hands that he's been asked to do. And sometimes I get the question, Raul, how can you sell these dogs? They love you, they're so wonderful. Well, it's what you hear they had done in the, for, for your customer that makes me want to do it. I recently sold a dog to a gentleman. Um, he, he came back from the war, he needed a dog, and he has seizures. And, you know, it, I get the goosebumps from him calling me. He says, Raul, the first time he wasn't sure what to do, but the last four times he's literally touched me sat me down and then I had a seizure. So he actually, and, and, and the dog immediately memorized what triggers the response that makes him do it. So those stories is what makes me keep doing what I do. And we have dogs for, 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 for artistic kids. We have dogs for, uh, we can go on and on of how much, many wonderful they, things they do that have nothing to do with protection. It's just a regular everyday life. I'll give you an example. I had a, um, a, a, a dog that was, oh, I call him on last, last chance they were going to put him down and and I and I, we made him into a service dog and when the owner uh, passed in the middle of the street she literally passed out the dog he used to have a harness on him he actually held her she never hit the ground now I taught him how to walk next to her nice and calm but I didn't teach him how to do that and how he himself he knew she was out cold and the witnesses says that that dog just balanced her and would not let her hit the ground and when the medics got there, he was social, he was calm. And you know, sometimes that bond they have is, is, is amazing. We've been blessed to have dogs uh, literally all over the world. So it's been great to see if we have dogs that are going to compete in, in competition for confirmation, uh, tracking, obedience, protection. But we've had a lot of dogs that are on service dogs. But some of them, for example, have a customer that takes their dog with them and she, she has a hard time walking and that dog just helps her uh, walk. She's very proud, she doesn't want to have a cane. So that dog, we, we selected a dog that is strong and powerful and big and he's got a harness and he allows her to take that steps and he knows I mean it, when that dog goes it would be impossible for him to find something like him because he's so amazing about doing the right job um, and we can go on stories like you would not believe uh, um, we have uh, an artistic uh, a little girl that uh, they asked me to prepare a dog for her and um, and I did you know nine years later you know she's 13 years or 14 years old, now she's an adult, and that dog and that kid are inseparable, and, and that is her best friend. I, I get the, uh, those two are, are just uh, are inseparable, and, um, and it's incredible how that dog knows that that is his person, and they, you know, and she, she, you know, she's, sometimes when you're artistic, you know, there's certain things you do, your, your voice carries loud and strong, and, and you make weird noises, and that dog thinks it's normal, and, 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 and it's a fantastic thing to feel and see.